everybody. Hope everybody's good. Uh, we are back after a three-month absence um, due to life kind of hit me in a pocketbook, and then I somehow got choked out by. My own head, um, you know, which is fun, but I go into that um, in later videos. Uh, for now, we are back with the triumphant return of the red block, doing it as only I can, covering pickups for May. June, July, and August, and I know what you're saying, thank you, August ain't over yet, you, you would be right boo-boo, but I've got everything I'm going to get, so why not go ahead and record this now, and if I do see some random shit somewhere, and pick up before the end of August. I'll just throw it into September haul, and nobody will know the fucking difference. That being said, I have titles from Half Price Books, Disney Movie Club, um, Out and About the the. Um, with the crew, um, eBay, friends that didn't like certain movies that I did and wanted to get rid of them, bring them with me. Um, that's another thing about me. If anybody's ever looking to get rid of a Blu-ray that they didn't like, even if I haven't seen it, give it to me because it's going to a good home and I'll watch anything at least once. Um, so, yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, with that said, I counted this before I started everything, and I think it in total, because uh, there are some double and triple packs in here, I think in total there's something like 57 or 58 movies uh, that I picked up in the last three months. Um, you know, I'm not going to remember when I picked what up, uh, so can't go back that far and tell you. But most of this stuff I found really cheap because, it's, like I said, um, friends, eBay. Um, half price books, out and about, most of the stuff I found really cheap. Um, the only thing, the only couple of things I think I paid full price for uh, were the two that I got when I was out with uh, Becca and Jen and Josh, and the one that I was required to pay full price for. Uh, from the Disney Movie Club. Everything else was half off or better, um, depending on where I got it and who I got it from. <sighs> With that said, it's going to be a long one. Shit, it's already four minutes in. I haven't started anything yet. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be long. Uh, so, here we go. Four avenues at a time. Mm, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna take all of my, and there are a couple of slip covers that I'll show later that I wasn't thinking I was gonna do like this. Um, before I started. 
or set this all up. Uh, so you'll see those later. But for now, um, these are all the ones that I have that came with slip covers. Um, first, we have uh, Johnny Depp and Army Hammer in the Lone Ranger. Uh, this was get it up there for you. Um, this was purchased with a, this was part of a massive, um, Disney Movie Club haul that came in earlier on Friday. Um, so yesterday, if you're seeing this on Saturday, and whenever you see this, this came in on Friday the 17th, I believe it was, and um, I know people have said this is a shitty movie, um, I'm not, not really one to um, not see a movie because somebody else says it's shit, because I've had it a lot of times where people have said movies are shit. And I've said, okay, you just give it to me. I'll take it. Even if it shits nothing, you know. Whatever. Another movie reflection. And I've actually liked movies that other people didn't really care for. So, um, I've never seen this, actually. So, I'm looking forward to watching this one. The Lone Ranger. Next, we have another Disney Movie Club, Black Panther. I saw this with Movie Pass before Movie Pass went to shit. Um, fuck you, Movie Pass, by the way. Um, <laughs> and this is awesome. Can't wait to revisit this. Um, second watch, third watch, fourth watch. Ain't gonna change my feelings on the movie. But I am looking forward to the extra stuff. That eclair is terrible. But that extra stuff right there. Um, and plus this will be fun to go back and rewatch. So, it's Black Panther. Movie group. No, okay. Seeing this. I'm going to go off on a rant here. Most of the time, when you order a Disney Movie Club exclusive movie, it doesn't come with a fucking slip cover. However, these next one, two, three, four, these next four did and OCD in me is really nuts because now I think all of them should have slip covers and ugh, just doesn't feel right because of my OCD but whatever. Um, next is a classic. Well these are all classics. Um, I haven't seen this in forever but I liked it when I was a kid. It was a sad movie though. Oh the other um, These Disney Movie Club exclusives, if I could have, give them one tiny, tiny bit of criticism, because slipcover in me, it's kind of just me nitpicking about the slipcovers, but if I could give them um, one little bit of criticism, it would be that they don't put special features on the DMC exclusive titles, which is just shit to me. Man, if you're going to make it a DMC exclusive, 
If you like Scott Becker, if you like Street Becker, you go all out, man. You could probably charge more that way, too, so it's kind of a monetary issue there, too. But, again, that's just me. That's the freaking only criticism for them, or the Disney Movie Club exclusives that I have. Um, but, just a suggestion. Next, another movie I saw when I was a kid, Apple Grumbling Gang. Haven't seen this in forever. Can't wait to go back and watch this. Take me back to childhood. Next, more childhood. Um, very, very young Haven Mills in Pollyanna. I can't wait to go back and watch these because I haven't watched these in forever. They haven't even been on TV in forever, I don't think. Um, and the last with a slip cover of the Disney Movie Club exclusive, the Computer War Tennis Shoes. Now, I saw this, let's see, the last time I saw this on TV, it's like 99-ish, I think. And that was only because I was at a friend's house that night, and we had just come back from a, uh, from an indie show, and flipping through TV, and when I came out of the bathroom, he had it on, so we were watching a few more tennis shoes, sat down, watched about the last 40 minutes of it, cropped out. Um, so it'd be fun to see the rest of it. <laughs> Alright, and that concludes the slipcover portion of the festivities. Well, not really, but like I said, the, um, the others uh, do have a couple of other slipcovers, but they're deep in the pile here, so <laughs> we're just going to go on, grab a couple more off the top of the stack here. Now some of these Disney Movie Club exclusives I've seen and some of them, believe it or not, I haven't seen. Um, so Get over here. There you go. Alrighty. So, first we have the original Parent Trap movie. I've seen this, and it's been a while though, so. Go back and revisit this. It should be very fun. Then they also had as a DMC exclusive that I think just came out the remake of the Parent Trap from '95. Um, saw this one too. Remember liking it. Be glad to uh, go back and revisit this one. And, um, if you want me to do reviews on, some, on any of these, that, most of them I'm going to do reviews on anyway, eventually. But if there's any one reviews of anything, not just the DMCs, but the, but anything you see here that you want to see specifically, um, just let me know and I'll do my best to make it happen. Next we have, and I believe this is a Shia LaBeouf movie, like I think this is his first movie he ever did, um, maybe I think, I don't know why he's not um, listed as a star, but 
think this is his first shot at the pavilion, and that would be Coles. Now, this is one, believe it or not, I've never seen. I've heard about it. I've heard it was okay for back in its day. Um, but I want to give it my own watch, and um, ugh, that, that player is terrible. Um, but yeah, I want to get my own watch and form my own opinion. Next is another movie I have never seen, but I have heard a lot of good things about it, like when it was out, um, and still hearing lots of good things about it, even today. That would be uh, Mighty Joe Young. I uh, haven't seen this one. Looking forward to checking that one out. Next, another one is a Disney exclusive that I haven't seen. Uh, Journey of uh, Nutty Dan. And haven't seen this one. Never really even heard of it. But it's a DMC exclusive. And I'm trying to collect the DMC exclusives. Which, by the way, I think I have them all now. Um, except for the two. Uh, Winnie the Pooh cartoons that just came out. Um, I don't know that I want to get those, but the completest in me will go notes if I don't, so I probably eventually will get those. Um, but that is the uh, journey of Natty Gan. I said Natty Gan before. Okay. Next is a movie I remember seeing back in the day, but it's been so long, I don't remember much about it, so uh, that would be The Rocket Man, and I'm really looking forward to seeing this, because the little bit I do remember about this, I think I liked it, um, so it'd be good to go back and watch 20 years from, you know, when I think I first saw it, uh, it's Rocket Man. Next is a movie I know that I've definitely seen, but it's been a minute. Um, that would be Swiss Family Robinson. I love this movie. Um, I wanted this to come out on Blu-ray for a long ass time. And when I joined Disney Movie Club, this was on their list of exclusives. And I should have snapped it up sooner, but I didn't because... There were other things to me that were more important to get at the time. So, glad to finally have this one. Next is a Cuba Gooding Jr. film. Uh, I've seen parts of it, but not all of it, so it's good to uh, go back and watch this one and give it a uh, fresh paint of coat. So, that'd be Snow Dogs. Okay. Next, another movie I saw when it first came out. Uh, Raising it as Danny Glover and Dennis Leary. Um, Operation Dumbo Drop. I don't remember liking this one too much when I first saw it. Um, but it's a DMC exclusive, and I'm collecting those. So, how do you get it? And it'd be good to kind of go back and see uh, if the passage of 20 some odd years uh, since I've seen this. Uh, makes me think any different of this movie, so uh, looking forward to that actually. Next, we have 
one again that I've never seen. But it is Blackbeard's Ghost. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this uh, from people in the uh, Bluetooth community. And if you don't know what Bluetooth is, it's basically people that like movies and whatever and collect Blu rays um, and talk about them on YouTube. Um, they call us Bluetubers. Um, so. Lots of good things I've heard about this one from the community. Never seen it. Looking forward to uh, watching it. Um, next we have another Disney movie called Exclusive that I haven't seen. Uh, Return to Oz. I think uh, the Bluetooth Bluetoober community. Um, That's why I've always heard good things. I figured it's part of it. So cool. And now I have to get the original Wizard of Oz. And yes, I do plan to get it. There is a 75th anniversary uh, collector set that comes kind of like my gun with the Wayne set came with a bunch of like um, memorabilia. And what's the movements and stuff? Um, I know there's a bare, bare bones uh, Blu ray release, but I want to get the, uh, the um, commemorative edition uh, so I can complete my set here. Okay. Let's put these. Sorry there guys, I'm doing some maintenance as I am going through this, so you guys don't pay for freaking <laughs> um, professional fucking photography here, so, or uh, craftsmanship, so kind of one of those rides where you know where you're eventually going to get you just got to take the shortcuts to get there with me first so all right those are done let's get the next set here Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, next um, is another kind of like the um, series. Oh, shit, what was that? I just. Parent Trap. Uh, I have both the uh, original and remake. I uh, haven't seen the original. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, that'd be Freaky Friday. That's the original. Followed by the um, 15th anniversary edition of the remake. Disneyland and Jamie Curtis. Freaky Friday. Um, I have seen this version, but it's been a minute. So be nice to go back and relive this one. And again, like I said, if y'all want me to do reviews on specific titles, just let me know and I will uh, make note of it and do the first. Um, like I said, I do plan to um, do reviews for most of these. Um, the only ones I'm not doing reviews for um, at this point, unless something changes, and I just get swamped, and or I get choked out again, um, are the ones that I've already done, uh, 
movie Fast Madness reviews for, um, which that in itself, or movie, movie Pass fiasco, that's going to be immune at some point, and I'm digressing. Um, sorry, like I said before, you got to take the long way with me sometimes. Um, all right, next we have a movie that I saw when it first came out, and I loved it. Um, and as soon as I saw, this is a relatively new um, DMC exclusive, and it is Charlie Sheen, Super Sutherland, Chris O'Donnell, Oliver Roplat, Tim Curry, who, by the way, played Pennywise the Clown in the original 1990 version of It, and Rebecca De Mornay, and that would be Three Musketeers. Loved this when I first saw it when it came out. Can't wait to rewatch it. It's been forever since I sat down and watched it. So, can't wait. Okay. I swear to God, guys, we're. Well, shit, no, we're not. <laughs> I was going to say we're almost done, but no, we're not. <laughs> Next, we have another, well, these aren't remakes, but they're an original and a sequel, and I'm pretty sure I have the remake for um, Escape to Witch Mountain with uh, Dwayne Johnson in my jungle of the raised somewhere <laughs> but I'm not sure but these are the originals we got uh, Escape to Witch Mountain been a while since I've seen this can't wait to rewatch it and do the re I, this is definitely getting a review I know that much that's the only thing I can tell you for sure at this point is Escape to Witch Mountain is getting a review, and so is Return from Witch Mountain, the sequel, and I've also seen this before, but it's been a minute since I've seen this, I've actually seen Escape 2, um, to Witch Mountain more recently than I've seen uh, Return from Witch Mountain. So, these are both getting reviews. Um, nobody has to ask for these. Um, they're getting them. The only way um, you need to ask is if you want uh, these particular reviews expedited. But these are definitely getting reviewed. Okay. Next set of uh, uh, let's see. There's so many here I just have to grab a stack. Um, so thanks for the patience and uh, hanging with me. These are the last of my Disney movie club or Disney movie club pickups. Not necessarily exclusive, but the last of my Disney movie club pickups. Uh, first we have here uh, Jim Caviezel, uh, Guy Pierce, and then Richard Harris. Rest in peace. We love you as Dumbledore. We love you in this movie too. That would be the Count of Monte Cristo. Ah, that fucking glares. Ugh. Um, I have seen this before. It's been a while. 
uh, I'm going to enjoy going back and revisiting it, um, because like I said, it's been a minute, but, um, going back have this one, this is one I had to jump on, because it was buy one, get a bunch, everything else is half off, this fell in that category, so I literally only paid... Ninety five for this. Not bad. Next we have Rest in Peace Paul Walker based on a true story. Um again, I've heard of this movie, never seen it. Happy to have it. Paid like nine eighty five for this. Um and that would be eight below. Never seen this before. Can't wait to uh, check it out. Next is a two pack. Um, comes with a Blu ray and two DVDs. Um, it is uh, Steve Martin. Martin Short and Diana Keaton in Father of Pride and Father of Pride Part 2, the 20th and 15th anniversary editions. Um, wow, these are actually pretty loaded down with special features. Um, which is awesome because I love special features. Um, this is one that I've seen on the Disney Movie Club website um, before and it never dropped below $24.95. I paid $12.98 for this. I had to pull the trigger because I was going to find it um, out in the wild somewhere cheaper. I wasn't going to find it on eBay for cheaper, so I pulled the trigger. Father of Bride 2 pack. Been a minute since I've seen this, so I'm definitely looking forward to doing to those as well. I'm looking forward to all this shit. There are some I'm looking forward to more than others. Sweet Home Alabama, Reese Witherspoon, seen this, but not forever, so looking forward to a rewatch of this. Next is a movie I am probably going to get shot for admitting, but I've never seen. It's a Nicolas Cage movie too, so I should have seen it because I like Nicolas Cage. Um, but that would be Gone in 60 Seconds. Um, this is definitely getting reviewed because it's a first time watch. Um, so you don't have to ask me to do this one unless you want expedited. So. There you go, caught in 60 seconds. Next, we have one. I wanted to get as soon as it came out, it's a Disney Pixar film. Um, but I was busy paying back debts and trying not to have my brain eat me alive. Um, so, and I saw this part of the buy one, get everything else 50% off, and literally only paid $11 for this. So I pulled the trigger because it ain't going to go lower than that, and it's just too, too good of a deal to pass up. Um, so that's Coco. kind of upset that Coco didn't come with a slip because I've seen it in stores with slips. Um, but what can you do? Uh, next we have Robert Duvall and Christian Bale in Newsies 
I remember watching this, uh, but it's been a while. I don't remember much about it, so I'm gonna have to rewatch this. Um, can't wait to rewatch it. And yeah, it's newsies. Next is a movie that I saw in the theater with Ashley with my fucking movie pass. Um, movie pass is really having an impact in this in this video. <sighs> Fuck them. Anyway, um, kind of upset that this didn't come with a slip either. Um, I saw it in stores with a fucking slip. And the fact that Disney doesn't have one really kind of grinds my gears, but nothing I can do, so, oh well. That would be Thor Ragnarok. Um, like I said, I saw this in the theater, um, so I did a review for this. I'm not reviewing it again, but I can't, am looking forward to watching it. Time to clear more space. All right. All these clear. Grab the next stack here. Actually, you know what? No, I'm just going to go with these, these two for now. Um, these two I got from Walmart. I caught lightning views for these. Um, this first one, which is, uh, Mr. Mom, because it's a Shout Factory, I waited forever to get this because Shout Factory, for whatever reason, they price theirs at, like, over $30, and it stays that way for the longest time, no, no matter where you look. So, when Amazon sent me an email saying there's a lightning deal on stuff you like, and I saw this was $14.99, I pulled the trigger. Post haste. Because I ain't going to get any cheaper than that anywhere, I don't think. So, Mr. Mom, it's an awesome movie. Haven't seen it forever. And this, same thing. Um, I've not seen for less than 30. And got a lightning deal notification that this was $17.99. And I'm not going to get any over that, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger. That would be the original Transformers from when we were kids. That movie. And now, there was a steel book for this, and I thought... I thought that um, that's actually what I was going to get. Um, it doesn't bother me that I didn't. Um, get that steelbook, um, because I don't really collect steelbooks all that much. I have a few, but that's just because circumstance, but I'm looking forward to revisiting my childhood with this one. Okay. These next few... Here. I'm trying to think. There's probably some overnight pile too, but I'll get through those in a minute. Um, these next few titles, I think, are um, from eBay, and I got like, a bunch of stuff from the same guy in bulk, so it gave me a discount. He was asking for, I believe, 
seven fifty for each one individually, and then because I got twenty of these from him at once, he gave them to me um, for like four fifty a piece. So he gave me a three dollar discount on each one, pretty much, and. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad that he did it, because next time I go to eBay looking for the ring, I will search him for, search him out first to see, because he usually has uh, good stuff, apparently, mm -hmm. the only thing is, um, these didn't come with code, because he already redeemed those, but, so I think that's part of the reason he gave me the three other discounts because no codes um but anyway 40 minutes in holy shit okay i haven't done this in a minute so you can tell my uh, timing's a little off don't worry back i'll get that under control soon i hope uh this is the first one in a minute so but anyway justice league now everybody shit on this movie I haven't seen it yet, and I like to watch movies and form my own opinion, so looking forward to it. Uh, this again, getting a review for sure, um, but if you want it expedited, just say so. Next we have Tom Cruise in The Mummy. Uh, I think this is a remake of the Brendan Fraser ones, but I am not sure, so don't quote me on that. Um, I heard mixed things on this, so looking forward to check that out. Next is the one I saw in the theater. <sighs> Movie Pass Strikes Again. Fuck y'all. Um, that would be uh, Jack Black, Kevin Hart, Karen Julian. And Dwayne Johnson and Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. I love this movie in the theater. I uh, can't wait to rewatch it. And yeah, not going to do a review because I already, already did one. So this one isn't getting reviewed. Um, but that don't mean I don't enjoy it because I loved it. And you can see the review for that in previous videos. Next, this completes my Kingsman set. That would be uh, Kingsman 2, The Golden Circle. I haven't seen this one yet, but it does complete my set. Didn't really care for the first one much, but I'm OCD. And if I get one and there's multiple, so the movie, I have to get the complete uh, series. So, Kingsman 2, Golden Circle. Um, I will watch this. I don't know that it's getting a review unless somebody wants me to, but I do intend to watch this and I hope to god it's better than the first one, because the first one to me just, it was too slow, it wasn't bad, it was just too fucking slow, so there you go. Uh, next is another movie I've heard mixed things about, people either love it or hate it, that would be, um, Ed Helms, Wilson, J.K. Simmons, Cat Williams, that in and of itself should make it hilarious. Uh, Terry Bradshaw, Ving Rhames, Christopher Walken, and Glenn Close. Holy shit. That's a hell of an ensemble. That would be Father Figures. Again, same thing. This is getting reviewed. You want me to expedite it? Expedite it? And let me know. Okay. Chicks, chicks and dudes, we are down to one stack. All right. Next. This is uh, more from that guy. My eBay guy. Um, 
three polar repair house. I've heard mixed things, so I'm looking forward to watching this. Um, I actually wanted to see when it first came out. So reasons, so the house. Another one that is Morgan Freeman, Tommy Lee Jones, Renee Russo. And from the director of Team Cup and Bull Durham. That would be just getting started. Can't wait to watch this one. Haven't seen it yet. Always wanted to. So I heard about it. So there you go. And this is one that I have been uh, looking forward to uh, watching on Amazon forever because I wanted to see it. Um, and it dropped to 10.99, and I snapped it up because Amazon has a tendency to drop a low, and then when you go back like an hour later, it's back up to fucking you know, um, you know, 18 or 20 bucks. So that would be Joel Egerton and Ruth Mega, I think, and GGA. Um, in Loving. Uh, this is based on a true story as well. Uh, I love stuff based on true stories. This is definitely going to get a review. Don't have to ask for it. Only if you want it expedited. Okay. Next step. Again, these are from same guy, eBay. First we have Pitch Perfect 3 and this um is my Pitch Perfect set. Can't wait to watch it. I love the first two films, so this should be awesome. Just like the first two. Who knows? Maybe it's shit. Hmm. Uh, next is one I really wanted to get before I when it first came out, but for reasons, and that would be, um, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Um, awesome movie, uh, saw in a theater, not going to do a review of it. But if you want to see my review, um, it's there. So I'm going to go back and revisit this one too. Uh, next one is a movie I've heard pretty good things about. Haven't seen it. Wanted to see it. Uh, Gerard Butler, Jim Sturgis, Andy Cornish, Ed Harris, and Andy Garcia. A little bit of ensemble cast there. Um, that would be Geostorm. Okay. Stay there. Ah, uh, more eBay stock. Same guy. Uh, this this one completes my set as well. It's Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg, John Lithgow, and Mel Gibson. That is home to. Can't wait to watch this. Um, the first one was funny as hell to me, so this shouldn't be any different. And if it's not funny, I'm gonna be majorly, majorly disappointed. But it's Will Ferrell, so it should be funny. Uh, next, we have my um, Despicable Me uh, collection caught up. That would be Despicable Me 3. I haven't seen it. Wanted to. Now I have it, so I can. Alright. Um, I told you there were a couple of more slip covered ones in here, but they were. If he somewhere in the pile, 
not close because I wasn't thinking I was going to do it that way. But got these from Walmart with uh, Jen, Becca, and Josh. And uh, one is uh, Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep. In the post, I wanted to go see this on Movie Pass, but time and everything else just kind of made it impossible. So, there you go. Post. This is definitely getting reviewed, by the way. And next we have Jessica Chastain, Idris Elba, and Kevin Costner, based on a true story. Um, Molly's Game. I had never even, I never even knew this. Um, it was just a recommendation. Uh, from me one day, I'm like, hmm, okay, and I read a little bit more about it. It's worth picking up. So, we were at Walmart, I saw it, I picked it up. <laughs> Again, this is also getting reviewed, so no need to ask unless you want to expedite. <sighs> okay, guys, I think we are actually starting to see the light at the end of this open tunnel. last ones right there. Next is one that actually got me um, because she almost shit her pants when I told her that it was one of the few movies that I needed that I didn't already have. That would be Freddie Prince Jr., Rachel Lee Cook, Matthew Miller, Joey Lynn O'Keefe, um, Usher Raymond, Bill Kim, and in a pack out. I didn't even realize in a pack was in this movie. Um, and uh, Paul Walker's in this movie too. So, and that would be She's All That. I've seen this, I've done reviews on this, so this is not getting re reviewed. Um, but it, my review is out there. All I gotta do is go back through my archives. Um, but, awesome movie. Can't wait to rewatch. Uh, the next two is a set of movies. Well, it's not a set, but it's like a franchise, I guess. And I haven't ever seen these movies, but I wanted to take a chance on them because they were like five bucks each at Amazon. And I like raunchy, kind of stuff more overtly sexual um, humor like that. So we have Ryan Reynolds, Anna Ferris, um, Andy Melanakis, Dane Cook, John Bride, Justin Long, uh, Caitlin Doubleday, and Louise Guzman. And the unrated and raw edition of Waiting. Really can't wait to see. Not that when this is done recording, I may well uh, put it, pop this one in the PlayStation and watch it first. Followed by the sequel. Um, John Michael Higgins, um, Andy Milnox, Sean McBride, Louise Guzman, and a special appearance by Adam Carolla. Still waiting. So, we are... Next we have Kevin Costner, Dennis Quaid, and Gene Hackman. 
um, in Wyatt Earp, one of my favorite Western movies. Can't believe I didn't have this on through it already, but I looked at the list of stuff I had. This book on it, five dollars, Amazon. So I pulled the fucking trigger. Next is another movie I thought I had, but not on my list, so I must not have it. It is now. That would be Kurt Russell and Doc Gilmer in Tombstone. Ugh, that, that glare is fucking terrible. Ugh. Okay. And this one, this next one is something. Not a lot of people know about. It's called the Joan movie. It's basically a movie that was self-funded, self-produced, um, on one of my favorite rappers. Uh, this is called KJ52. Uh, his real name is Jonas Valentino. But so he called his movie um, the Joan movie. And looking forward to actually sitting down and watching this. Awesome there. Alright, boys and girls, I swear to God. One, two. Five movies to go. Next is one I wanted to see for a minute, but I never did. And it dropped. To like five ninety nine, I snatched it up. Twelve years a slave. Next, um, Gene Roman's Harry Connick Jr. Sandy Bullock. Hope floats. Can't believe I didn't have this one. Glad to have it. And last but certainly not least in this marathon of a <sighs> video um, is the 40th anniversary um, release of Grease. It's a steelbook. And it's a collection. It's basically Grease, Grease 1, or it's basically Grease, Grease 2, and then um, Grease Live, the musical that aired on NBC, which I've never seen. Um, but I'm looking forward to going back and revisiting these. I did reviews for Grease and Grease 2, um, so I'm not going to re review those, but the Grease Live, I will probably review at some point because yeah I've heard good things about it bad things about it I want to form my own thing and tell you now steelbook no nothing on the discs no artwork or anything um, they did put um, pictures in the um, space where the discs go, and I will take them out and show you, but they're a bitch to get back in once I take them out. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So, that is the Greece 40th Anniversary Steelbook. So, yeah. There you go. Uh, 56 or 57 titles, I think. And it only took me an hour to get to <sighs> Sorry for keeping you all so long. Um, I gotta work on time, but it's been a while since I've done this. So I'm a little bit out of practice. Bear with me. And shit. I just got hit in the foot.
five fucking okay, steel board. That did not feel good. <laughs> I think it's, I don't think it's going to fall from there. Um, but thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for fostering creativity, even when I don't have the desire to be creative. Um, appreciate the patience with me. Um, I love you all. I'll be back later with, uh, fresh new content, because as of this recording, I have dropped every bit of pre-recorded shit going back months ago um, that I had previously done so time to record some new shit for you guys um, thanks for watching thanks for listening thanks for everything I love y'all I'll be back soon with more stuff peace